Hi, I'm Kerry Grinkmeyer. It's March the 1st, uh, a new month, a new week, a new day in the stock market. And I think it's going to be an exciting month, week, year, next decade. I think it's going to be extremely exciting. So I, I did an exercise this weekend that I want to share with you that I think illustrates exactly what's going to happen in the stock market the next decade. And, and it's all going to start today, March the 1st, 2021. One of the reasons it's going to start today is it looks like the next stimulus package is going to happen and we're going to pump another $1 trillion into this stock market. Uh, and why do I say the stock market? They aren't going to put the money in the stock market. Well, money's like rain. It just falls down until it finds some place to land. Uh, it, f it comes through your hands and you buy groceries or pay your rent or pay your car payment. And then it eventually makes it to me and I invest it in the stock market. And, and then I put it in Amazon and it ends up in Jeff Bezos's pocket. That's, that's how it works. So we got another, another trillion dollars coming. But I think some of it's not going to make it to Jeff. And I think over the next 10 years, I can tell you where it's going to go. And uh, I can illustrate it to you based on what I did this weekend. So stay with me. Um, while I'm gone, you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I need, I need some more subscribers. I'm going for a million and I'm only at about 140,000. So I got a ways to go. Um, and I'm counting on you. Be right back. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. Okay, so I said new month, um, new year, new stimulus package. Where do I want to put my money so I can take advantage of what I think is going to happen? And again, I reflect back the most important event that has happened in my 76 years of life has is facing its first anniversary this month, and that is the coronavirus pandemic. This is going to change the world. It's going to change every part of the world we live in. And it's driven by technology, and it's driven by disruption. And one of the, one of the premier technologies, of course, is uh, electric vehicles. So I wanted to ask myself, okay, how big is this? How big is this electric vehicle movement? So I, I went out on a, um, a road that over, is over 459, a bridge, and I stood there and I counted 100 cars, and I tried to figure out, of those 100 cars, how many of them were electric? I really had a tough time because I, I couldn't, couldn't really see the emblem and pick out the the Tesla, and I know BMW has a little tiny car that, so I guessed that out of the hundred cars that went by, um, maybe one or two of them were electric. And then I asked myself, in the next 10 years, how is that equation going to change? Uh, how many in, in, in 2031, how many of those cars, those 100 cars are going to be electric? Well, from what I read, 85. 85 of them will be electric. Then I, as I was watching that, I thought, how many of the trucks? Boy, there were a lot of trucks up and down the highway. None of them were electric. I could tell because uh, I was on a little bit of an upgrade and I, I could tell none of them were electric. How many of them will be electric? Uh, how many of the buses downtown will be electric? So I'm comfortable. My biggest holding is Tesla. I own NEO, I own um, BYD, whatever, it's uh, BYDD, um, build your own, it makes electric buses, it's a Chinese company that has a manufacturing facility here in, in uh, the United States, so I'm comfortable with that. Then I went downtown and I went to the hospital and, and I went uh, to the information desk and I said, I'd like my genome sequenced. And, and the guy looked at me and he said, you'd like what? You'd like what, what? I said, I'd like my genome sequenced. 
he said, I don't know what you're talking about. I says, I know you don't. Um, I said, where's the operating room? I, where's, where's, it was UAB hospital. And I said, and he said, well, what, what, I said, how many robots you got operating today? He said, how many robots do we have operating today? I said, yeah, you know, how many, how many doctors are sitting in front of a console, uh, operating a robot? And he said, I don't, I don't think we have any. Really? Okay. All right. There's, do I think that's going to change? Yeah, I do. So that's why I'm invested in, in robotics, in, in um, medical robotics. You can all see all this in my portfolio. Just go to Best of Us Investors and come to our Discord. And at our Discord, you can, you can see my portfolio. This is it right here. Uh, everything that I own. I own about 20 stocks. And then I went to the Chamber of Commerce. And, uh, and I said, uh, do, is the manufacturing facilities here in Birmingham changing? And he said, yeah, we, we don't have the steel industry we used to have. And I said, well, how many 3D printing facilities do we have here in Birmingham today? And he said, 3D printing facility? Yeah, you know, that we used to have there at Sloss Furnace, uh, where they m melted steel, made steel uh, from iron and took it out to Fairfield and they, they made um, parts and, and, and by forging uh, the steel into forms and then they grind it down and, and it'd go to the car industry. And he, he, I said, w we've re we, that's gone, right? He said, yeah, that's pretty much gone. Where are the 3D printing plants that are doing that now? He said, I don't, I don't think we have any. I said, why not? It's it's a growing industry. He said, I, I don't I don't know anything about that. I said, hmm, how about robotics? Uh, I know there we've got a we've got that um, Amazon distribution center out in in Bessemer. I said, You ever been out there? He, he said, no, I haven't and I said, I understand that there's a lot of robots out there. And they're moving the merchandise around. I said, Are you f familiar with any other? robotic facilities here in Birmingham? He said, no, no, I'm not. But now that you mention it, yeah, I've never been to the, the distribution center out in Bessemer, but I've been told there's a lot of robotics out there, a lot of robots moving merchandise. And I said, do you think that'll be a part of our future? He said, yeah, I kind of suspect it will be. So that's why I'm invested in, in uh, robotics. And then I said, uh, have you seen them putting up any uh, 5G towers? Um, he said, well, yeah. He says, I, I know they're, they're putting up um, the, these 5G towers around the city. And, and I said, can you, can you see a difference in 5G? Do you know where I could go and find a 5G? No, he says, I don't know. So my, my takeaway was... The future's coming, and it's coming fast, but it's not here yet. So, with my investments in robotics, 3D printing, biotech, EV, and 5G, and that's all I own, um, I think I'm ahead of the game. I think with the uh, amount of money that's going to come into our our economy as a report of this first stimulus package, and there will be another one. And why am I confident of that? Because there are more poor people in the United States today than there ever were. Even there are more people in food lines than there were in the Depression. Uh, there, there, there's more people um, without transportation currently in the United States than ever before. You can see that in that the fact that we're having difficulty getting people vaccinated because they can't get to the vaccination stations. They can't walk five miles. Well, how do they go to the grocery? They don't. It's called Meals on Wheels. It's people delivering groceries. We're going to get to a point where we're going to have to either create a bus service to get these people vaccinated or we're going to have to go door to door to get it done. The world is changing. And the world is changing because of the pandemic. 
and because of technology. You all know who Kathy Woods is and, and, and her ARK investments and how she's got fun ETFs that focus exactly on these things because she knows and I know the world is changing. I would encourage you to, to read, let me find the book. Uh, here it is. This is The World is, uh, The Future is Faster Than You Think. You can find this at my, if, at my website. If you're an investor and you want to know what's going to happen this month, next month, and next decade, you need to read this book and, and become familiar with robotics, 3D printing, biotech, EV, and 5G. Once you understand that, there's no question as to where to invest. Now, is alternative energy and, and green energy and solar, is that a part of it? Yeah, and, and, and it's a good investment, but I don't specialize in that. What I've learned in my, I'm a retired financial advisor. You specialize in something. You become, your, your objective is to become the smartest guy in the room relative to what you want to invest in. And so you can't invest in everything. You just, you do your reading and your research and your studying on those subjects that you have an interest in, and then you specialize in them. At my tribe, I get a lot of people. We have about 18,000 people there right now, um, and we discuss stocks, and they ask me, why aren't you looking at the, 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 the semiconductors? I don't know what a semiconductor is. I wouldn't know one if you put it in front of me. So I don't, and, and, and I don't care to. Uh, I believe, and you say, well, you're interested in 5G and you got to have seven. No, no, that's, that's who builds the structure. They, they build, I want the person who's collecting the data because my life is going to change relative by data. I'm, Nita's not going to shop five years from now. It'll all be done by her avatar and her avatar will know what's in the pantry and she'll know and Nita will tell her avatar and it'll be a little box it's called an echo or or whatever Amazon calls theirs um, and th all the shopping will be done there um, she will she, she when she wants a new dress she'll she'll just go online and she'll stand like this in front of a mirror and they'll measure her body and the dress will be made with a 3d printer and delivered to her front door that's the future. So <laughs> I don't get hung up on where to invest. I don't get hung up when the market goes down. Um, I know I'm invested in the right place. And if you want to see my portfolio, go to bestofusinvestors.com. I'll send you there. You'll give me your email address and your, uh, your name, and I'll send you a link to the, uh, our discord and that's where my portfolio is. And you can see each one of these stocks. And when I change uh, or add to, you'll get notified every day when I, before I do it or just shortly after I do it. So if you want that information, it's available. This is how we will invest in the future. This is, you're not gambling. There is no gamble in this. This is having the knowledge, understanding the game, and then being the smartest guy at the table. <laughs> I heard, um, what is it, Pertnoy made a quote this last week. If you sit down at a poker table and you haven't spotted the, the, the patsy um, in the first half hour, you're the patsy, okay? <laughs> so if you're troubled with the stock market, you may be the, the patsy, okay? Uh, talk to you again tomorrow.